Hey, I want to take a moment today to issue a little uh, call to arms, I guess, here. Uh, I want to do an update on H.R. 38. Well, H.R. 38 is due to be voted on tomorrow in the House of Representatives. And that's a good thing because H.R. 38 is something that I wholeheartedly support. I think it's something that we definitely need to pass. That is the National Reciprocity Bill. So I am all for that. But unfortunately, right now, the House and Congress are paying, playing some uh, dirty pool with the legislation. They're taking another bill, an unpopular bill, the Fix the Nix bill, which is H.R. 4477, I believe, and they're trying to attach the two together tomorrow. That means if you wanted to pass H.R. 38, there would only be one vote, so you'd have to pass H.R. Uh, 4477 also. So if you want national reciprocity, you have to accept the Fix the Nix bill. Well, this is a bad thing because you might say, well, what's wrong with fixing the Nix system? Well, they're not fixing the Nix system. All they're doing is making it more invasive and uh, taking steps to give government agencies too much power. Also, they're doing things like how it used to be you had to report all domestic violence convictions. This bill, the way it's written, says that they have to report all domestic violence cases. So that means if you're just charged with domestic violence and then someone later drops it or the police go, oh, there's, this is unfounded, you two have never even met, they still have to report that to Nix, which would mean you would probably be delayed if not denied, unjustly. This bill has all kinds of problems, creates more problems than it solves. In fact, it doesn't solve any problems because Nix doesn't solve any problems. So all it does is make a bad system worse and discriminates against more people, creating there to be more uh, false rejections of people trying to exercise their Second Amendment rights. So this bill is unacceptable. But by attaching it to H.R. 38, they'll get it passed through. And by doing this, they could actually get this passed through, the, through Congress, through the House, send it to the Senate as a combined bill. The Senate can then disassemble it and make it to where they're just passing the Fix the Nix bill. And then when they go to conference, they would just be passing Fix the Nix and the uh, national reciprocity would be gone. So everyone needs to call their senators, call their congressmen and say, these two bills being combined is not acceptable and we will hold you accountable if you allow this. Now, some of you might be saying to yourselves, well, how can they even do this? There's no way the minority Democrats could do this without Republican support. Well, that problem is they have Republican support for this. Several Republicans have voted yes for this in committee and will vote for this on the floor because this is a game they love to play. This is a game that the, or that the NRA has orchestrated again and again and again. The NRA reluctantly supported H.R. 38. In the past, they've been against such things, and they definitely love Nix. Everyone knows the, the NRA's uh, support of the Nix system. So they love, they love 4477. They don't care about 4477. Uh, and they don't really don't like 38, but they had to pretend like they did because they were, they're hemorrhaging members right now. If you don't know this, if you're not on the inside loop here, the NRA is hemorrhaging members. People are abandoning them in record numbers. So they had to do something to be like, oh my God, we got to look like we're doing something to make some progress for pro-gun. Let's support H.R. 38. But then behind the scenes, they're playing the game where it's okay if you add these two bills together, therefore killing both of them or just passing the fix the Knicks. Because then the NRA can do the same thing they've done many, many times before, set up false hope, work behind the scenes to destroy it, then go, oh, look what they did. They took away our national reciprocity bill. Send us more money so we can keep fighting. When really, they're one of the main reasons it got killed in the first place. So don't fall for this garbage that comes from the NRA. This We're full, fully behind this, but then watch our representatives mess it up in Congress so that it doesn't pass. And then send us more money to make sure this doesn't happen again, when really all you're doing by sending more money is ensuring it'll happen again, because it's their method of operation. It's what they do. So... Call your representatives, senators, congressmen, everybody. Tell them if these two bills get combined, it's not acceptable. The only way it'd be acceptable is if the 4477 is amended to the point where it's almost nothing anymore. But other than that happening, the way they stand now, these bills need to be separate because H.R. 38, national reciprocity, is a good thing. Uh, 4477, fix the Knicks, is a bad thing. It makes a bad system worse. So we can't support those two things together. So... Call them. Call them repeatedly. I want their phones to be ringing from the time uh, their office opens tomorrow morning to the time they close with people saying, if you combine these things, not just if you vote against them, but if you allow these things to be combined, because that's their game, to combine them, to make them unpalatable for people again when they come back from committee, if you allow these things to be combined, we will count that as if you voted against it and we will hold you accountable.
So like I said, this is a little call to action. Everyone call your congressman tomorrow, even call your senators. Let them know how you feel about this. Tell them we will not stand for these kind of games in politics anymore. We see through what you're doing. We see through you. We see through the NRA and we're not going to take it anymore. It's time that you start being held accountable for what you do.